What's up, Facebook Live? Joe coming to you here. It's Thursday already. I cannot believe how fast the week is going by. And today's message of excuses are nothing but lies that our mind tells us. So happy Thursday, everybody. Day 240 of 366 consecutive Facebook Lives continue to show up to add value to all of our lives for the benefit of the collective. And as you can see, it is a beautiful day down here in Virginia. A little bit warm, about 94 degrees. Going back to the roof here. I want to give a big shout out to my man Chuck. It's his birthday today, Chuck. So happy birthday, my brother. 66 years old today. This guy is a beast, man. He, he, he's one of those guys that is just tapped in and he's running with it. He's not asking any questions. He's just going to accept it for what it is. Ultimate thing. There's my attorney. I'll call you back. Must be about one of our closings here. So let me silence that thing so we don't have to interrupt this beautiful message from the source that I was downloading this morning. So yesterday I had a couple things go sideways on me. What's up, Eric? Good to see you, brother. I had a couple things go sideways on me yesterday. And I'm, in my mind, I was trying to make excuses. In my mind, I was trying to blame. In my mind, it was somebody else's fault. But the reality is, those are all lies that the mind tells us. The reality is we got to hold ourselves accountable. Each and every one of us, we're accountable for everything in our lives. If I just have a phone conversation with somebody, I said, listen, the reality is everything that you see in our world right now, you put it there. You're responsible. Take ownership. As soon as you take ownership, you can start to resolve the problem. It's just like having an addiction. If you don't realize there's an addiction, guess what? The addiction will never go away, regardless of the addiction. It doesn't have to be sex, drugs, alcohol, or any of those things. It could be an addiction to anything that neurologically attaches you to an outcome. So the mind wants an outcome. Then we go ahead and we neurologically attach ourselves to that outcome and whatever it takes to get that. So perfect example of what happened to me yesterday. I had two things happen. I didn't post one of my points for my brotherhood, so my brothers in arms, kings in arms teams. My Kings in Arm team, I apologize for that loss of a point. So what I was doing yesterday, I was telling my good friend Gary, he's part of the Brotherhood with us. I said, man, I haven't missed a, a post in probably 300 days. And as soon as I set that intention, I missed the point last night. And, this, and I could have made all these different excuses why I missed posting that point. So I was saying, I'm going to wait till the end of the day, I'm going to post this King's Code. And I'm going to share what I experienced with Chuck, with Kathy, and Gary over dinner. And then all of a sudden, I went to bed, and me and Kathy had this deep conversation where she was giving me feedback. And she wasn't happy. So what was I trying to do? I was trying to defend myself. But the reality is, she was giving me the exact feedback that I needed for myself to say, you know what, I need to take ownership. That's me. It has nothing to do with Kathy. That's me. So I own that. This morning in my meditation, I'm like, how many times in our lives do we do that? So I went all the way back this morning in my meditation to when I was a little kid. And my father used to say, turn off the lights. Close the refrigerator door. The heat is on. Turn the, Close the door. Why is the door open? The refrigerator door is open. Close the refrigerator. You're letting the cold air out. So all these things that I was always programmed to, I was running that program last night. And I was like, now I get it. And here it is, I've been running this program for years, right? So I'm 53 years old. This was instilled in me probably like eight or nine years old. So going on close to 45 years of this program over and over and over again. It's the same program. I have to prove somebody else. I'm not wrong. I want to be in control. And all these things that we tell ourselves are just lies of the mind. Every excuse that we make in this world are lies from the mind. So how many times do we lie to ourselves? Good to see you, Mrs. Quintard. Continue to send you love and blessings up there. How many times do we, do we lie to ourselves through these excuses? Because the reality is everything that we have in our life right now, we put it there. I got a bad glare right there. I don't like that glare. What's going on with this thing? Everything that we have in our life, we put it there. So stop telling ourselves to lie. And that was me yesterday. I missed locking my point, and then uh, I had something else happen as well. I was like, all these things happening, Wendy, we did it. We have to take ownership for that. It's up to us to say, hey, you know what? 
This is life giving me feedback. Where do I have to improve to get better? Where do I have to improve? Where do I have to improve to make the people around me better? And that's what the voice was saying this morning in my meditation. Is like, you need to own your stuff. I mean, this is your pattern that you're running. We all have patterns that we run. This is a programming. These all have programs that we run. It's the same program over and over and over. I was on another phone conversation with a woman today. She's like, I know my program. It's all about the guilt and the shame. I, I can't do this because I'll feel guilty. And ultimately what we do, we become the enabler. Well, I want this for my son, for my daughter, because I didn't have it when I was a kid. Now we're becoming the enabler. Here, here's 20 bucks. And all of a sudden, here's 50 bucks. And now today, he's like, here's 100 bucks. Go away, go make yourself happy. Mommy and daddy's busy. That's all part of the same program. So I caught myself this morning. I was like, I'm trying to blame Kathy. Why I didn't post a point last night? Because we were having that conversation. I was going to post my point on the way to going to bed. I was up at 2 o'clock in the morning. So I was tired after being on the roof all day. And I could have made all these excuses of why I didn't post my last point last night. But the reality is it's me. So you got to own that stuff. And then the reality is it's you. It's all of us. We have to own our stuff. We can never break that program until we put awareness to it and know that we have the program. So that was super, super deep insight. So I'd love to hear what you guys are hearing from this post below. Um, what's, what's your program that you run? And just bringing awareness to it and even just thinking about it, even if you don't post here, just thinking about what's the program that I run over and over again. I know some of us are addicted to things. Some of us want to go out there and just work all the time. 24 hours a day trying to hustle make money some of us want to make money all the time some of us will just want to be loved all the time but what's the program that you run and bring awareness to that and say you know what does that serve me is what I do every single day serving me serving my family serving the people that I love or is it hurting me hurting my family because I've seen a lot of families broken apart by enabling a lot of mothers a lot of fathers enabling their kids. And Mrs. Quintar could probably speak to this better than I can because she's seen thousands of kids come through Mill Ridge. How many times do we put that program in these little kids between, I've always said between 6 and like 12 years old, you're being programmed with your lifelong programs, like the hard drive on a computer. You program them into your body, into your mind, and then all of a sudden the mind runs the body. I believe it should be the other way around. I believe the body should be running the mind. And when the body runs the mind, your heart and soul can stop for, step forward. And when the heart and soul steps forward, now you're living your truth. It was the conversation we were having this afternoon. When you live your truth, be your truth, and speak your truth, that will set you free. And until then, you're never going to be enough. You're never going to have enough time, never enough money, never enough love, because you're not honoring yourself first. Honor thyself. So that was a huge breakthrough for me. It's like, as soon as I said, oh, I haven't missed a point posting in 300 days. Guess what happened? Missed. And that's the second time I've done that. Let's talk about repeating the pattern. The last time I did that was back probably in 2017. Same as that thing happened. I started talking about how great things were going. And that next day, God, the universe says, listen, you're not in control. You are here do my will that is the blessing it's a blessing for all of us because every one of you has been getting intuition and signals and a voice speaking to you or something being sent to you saying I should be doing this and then you don't do it and right after that you receive the pain that follows to put you back on the course to fulfill that purpose if you don't have a catcher you don't have a pitcher you don't have a left field you don't have the shortstop you need every single player on the team playing their position, living their purpose, because we're all in this together. We are all in this together. The choice is ours how we're going to show up. Are we going to be part of the team? Or is it going to be the I consciousness where it's about me? We have a choice. So collectively, we can go a long way. Individually, we can go 
fast. The choice is ours. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. Keep showing up. We're going to go get back on this roof at 94 degrees here at 202 Eastern Standard Time, wherever you are in the world. You know if you're going through some challenges in this world, reach out to somebody in the Rises One group. Reach out to me. Reach out to somebody in your family. Reach out to somebody. Do not go it alone, especially our good military friends out there. I know when we get by ourselves, our mind starts playing tricks on us. But today's message, the excuses that we tell ourselves, they're all just lies own it, receive the feedback, adapt and adjust, and keep moving forward. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And when it's all said and done, together, we'll rise as one. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.